Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. You've done me a great service. Thank you. Welcome so back to another exciting episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the previous episode, in the previous episode, we completed the Azure Moon. Today's episode, right now, we finally not literally caught up, but we're in the middle of going through the Golden Deer route. So if you have today's episode, make sure that like button and support is greatly appreciated to the channel. Oh gosh, we got all these. But don't matter. We'll do those off screen. Because why not? Anyways, today's episode we're going to do the paralog. The only paralog within this one that I think I know we can do is the freaking that has to involve with Lorenz. Everyone else, we did it back the in Zer Moon. So anyways, like I said, make sure that like button and support is greatly appreciated to the channel. Because we'll see what we can do about this obnoxious guy. Land of the Golden Deer. White Cloud, Chapter 7, Field of the Eagle and Lion. Ah, oh, perfection. Oh, these tea leaves are just divine. Quite the impressive selection, if I do say so myself. Lawrence, so this is where you are. Hello, Cyril. Lured here by the exquisite aroma, were you? Uh, no. I've got a thing for you. It's a letter. All right, well, don't say I didn't deliver it. A letter for me, is it? Curious. Let's see what we have here. Alas, Professor, nothing so whimsical as that. This correspondence comes from my father. Some difficulty with Acheron, apparently. My father wishes me to return home and settle it. A young lord whose domain borders my father's. Do you know of the Great Bridge of Murden? It is an old bridge across the Aramid River, a key crossing between Alliance and Empire territory. Acheron controls the land on the northern side. Controlling such an essential location gives him quite a bit of clout, which he is ever so eager to deploy toward the purpose of stirring up trouble. This time, he is dredging up an old border dispute that was supposed to be settled some time ago. He has even begun to dispatch military force. It is best we rout his troops before they cause any damage to the surrounding villages. To my father, Acheron is insignificant in the face of far more pressing political matters. Other houses wield far greater power and influence. Goneril, Ordelia, Edmund, and of course, Regan. To make his voice heard at the round table conferences, my father must keep up relations with them. That is simply the way the Leicester Alliance works. It was, after all, founded with the goal of freedom from Fargus. We prize that independence highly, even if it occasionally hinders cooperation. There is often talk of mutual aid, but the truth is that each noble acts to maximize personal benefit. At the moment, the Regan dukedom is in no state to keep those conflicting motivations in check. So while the Alliance may appear to be at peace, the reality is that internal conflict is a routine matter. Of course, this leaves me precious little time to sit back and enjoy a cup of tea. Alas, I must be off. Since you're here, perhaps you would care to accompany me on this little errand? I have no fear of Acheron, but it could be valuable for you to experience these political nuances firsthand. The fate of the Alliance will someday rest upon my shoulders. So it is important to me that those I deal with understand its workings. What say you to broadening your horizons? Excellent. Let us be away at once. I shall leave the finer details of preparation in your capable hands. Alrighty then, looks like we're back in the same map. We're in a ball freaking Raphael and Ignatz. Okay, what we got here? Uh, all these guys. Left and right. You! Well, he's a chicken no matter what, so. Who we got in the squad? Units? 
We should put those guys on the side. But we'll take out we'll take out Shamir. Put back lot in. Alright. Next thing we can do, we replenish. And then we begin. Come back. Defeat the enemy commander or 12 turns pass. Lorenz falls in battle, defend the location captured. Far more enemies than I expected. I am glad you decided to come with us, Professor. Oh, and here I thought Count Gloucester would be too busy to send his soldiers here. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. I'll just have to deal with you little meddlers swiftly and decisively. That is Acheron. If we can deal with him, that ought to scare the rest of these rats off. We need not actually kill him. So long as we cut his escape off convincingly enough, that should suffice. Acheron's forces will try and see as much shelter as they can. Be careful not to let them capture all your defender location. Take note of those drawbridges. They can only be operated from one of the banks. Okay. We may be able to use that to our advantage. All we gotta do is just build a wall. Got it. Oh well, yeah, to my understanding about Lorenz, as of so far as in 50 episodes plus in, again, he's a narcissist. A narcissist who, who feels like the burden of the Gloucester family is just hold towards him. That burden in itself made him like split the alliance during that time skip. Which did Naturally. definitely explain as to why, I got this. as to why he disagrees Ready with Claude. I only went up to support rank C, but still, but still, that did explain as to why there was like a little Sorry, dispute the between those two mine. alliance members. Who Let's wants it? Who wants it more? But oh well, oh well, Who it is me? war. Yes, you. God damn it. Be hearing that all day. Stay focused. Okay, we got our wall going on. Leave it to me. We can kill the commander. Who me? But we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Get him, Catherine. Can't hold me back. Yeah, for the costumes, I just at this point might as well go whatever in this. Yeah. Is that all? Because at this point, I just don't care <laughs> what they wear. As long as they wear something. They make progress. Leone, I kind of like her having a Pegasus Knight than a freaking bow or whatever Paladin Knight. I'd rather have a Pegasus than a freaking Cavalier, etc, etc. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Huh? That's what I thought. Okay, that I don't like where that one's going. Advanced seal, we need that. Gambit. It's all fair game. Hmm. Take care of him. One, two. Sorry, don't know my own strength. What do you have? The devil sword. Ooh, we'll take that. Let's go. Let's get it. This is the first time we'll be seeing it. We got. We have encountered the devil axe, but not the devil sword. Let's get it. I call that a win. I'll take it. Hmm. Let the lesson begin. Should I have held back? Invigorating. I'd be needing you to stay there just in case.
underestimated. That's not where I was thinking. That's the golden deer for you. Okay, you got one item over there. Anyone holding something cool or nah? I don't want to waste my time just going around if they have no cool items. Why am I having Lawrence as a dark mage? I don't know, I'm just bored. I want something different. We kind of failed bringing... We failed Hubert getting to the dark mage part. Or whatever, dark source or whatever. So... That's why it's, we're gonna have this, then into the next events level, and then to the Dark Knight. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Blizzard! Atta girl! I can't afford to lose. Yeah, that was kinda off time. Get the advanced seal. We'll hold down the fort. It's not luck, it's fate. Back over here. The one two punch. One that. I'll be getting a taste of the devil's sword in a bit. Bridge. More healing? No. Do you have your own? Is it? Ooh, have you found something nice? Go ahead and hand it over. Huh? Thieves, do not allow them to escape. As if. Really? Get him, you squire. Huh? It worked out. Let's turn the tables. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Move again. Nine turns remaining? Don't worry, we'll finish it off soon. Ah, we take those. Haha, <laughs> nice try. Get him! Tech 
Nee. No hard feelings, right? You're outclassed. Payback time. Not get in my way. Huh? He's protected by it. That ain't gonna work. That's all the hey, we got triangle attack. Let's go. Nice try. it off okay maybe not give it up Acheron we are in the right if you try to remain here any longer what you'll kill me a tiny kid like you kill someone like me <laughs> oh that's too funny an animal like you cannot be allowed to run amok we will settle this here and now if you think you're up to the task, then by all means. But it's not my fault if it ends badly. A bit. Give it your all. hear that some good for nothing inherited this territory i guess that's you then who do you think you are i'm not a good for nothing you are if you were actually good for anything at all i'd at least expect you to recognize who i am
This will make the job easier. Ah, wait! I lose! I give up! I surrender! Please don't kill me! You have my thanks, Professor. Please go on ahead. I will clean up here and then report to my father. See you back at the monastery. Your assistance in this incident with Acheron has proved most essential. Consider me in your debt. Thanks to you, the Alliance was able to nip this internal conflict in the bud. He has written a pledge to my father, swearing never to cause trouble about the border again. Of course, he is hardly the type to bind himself in good faith to anything written on paper. But Acheron has many connections, both in the Alliance and in the Empire. To remove him entirely would cause more conflict. We will just have to watch him closely for now. Indeed. I do plan to eliminate him eventually, however. He is nothing but trouble. Incidentally, there was one other benefit to embarking upon this errand. Have a look at this. The magic staff Thursis, a relic passed down through House Gloucester for generations. It seems my father has finally recognized my ability. Apparently, he had been considering entrusting this relic to me for some time. He has had precious few opportunities to take to the field of battle personally of late. Doubtless, by giving this to me, he intends to send the message that I must work even harder. I will certainly continue to do my utmost, but I am by no means completely subservient to his will. I would not go so far as that, but my father seldom thinks beyond the immediate benefit of our house. While that is important, I prefer to consider the greater good when I make decisions. I believe that is a noble's duty. Now, for the time being, may I trust you to decide how we may best make use of Thursus? For the moment, I think you are in the best position to apply it to the betterment of all Fodlan. To be quite honest, I am not certain I feel ready to decide the fate of a relic on my own just yet. Do me this favor, Professor, and I will be grateful. Now to celebrate, allow me to treat you to tea. Well, there goes the other freaking relic. Like, comment,